How to install Mortal OS custom ROM based on MIUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Mortal OS custom ROM based on MIUI 12 on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues, we'll have to do a format data from Twerp Recovery, in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Now, all the files which we are going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video, and these are the files which you need. So you need Model OS itself, which is the ROM, vendor, firmware, boot image, system image, everything is included inside this file. And then you need disable first encryption if your device is decrypted how do you know whether your device is decrypted or not well you can go into settings and then you'll go into password and security privacy and here it is you can see that encryption and credentials for me it says phone is not encrypted that means i will have to flash disable force encryption if your device is encrypted then you do not have to flash disable force encryption next up we can go into settings and if you go into about phone you will see that I am running MIUI 12.0.0.9 based on Android 10. Next thing you need to do is go back into password and security and remove your fingerprint face unlock and password. Once that is done, you'll go back, go down, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, you'll go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? Well, we're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. What if you're on a custom ROM? Well, if you're on a custom ROM, the process remains the same. All you need to do is skip the steps which are not applicable. And if you're on a ROM which is based on AOSP, then you will not have the option of removing your Mi account. Once we have verified that all the accounts and security measures have been removed successfully next thing we need to boot into to our recovery for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device once the device has turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we have booted into twerp recovery we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once the wipe process has finished successfully we will click on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the model os rom file in case you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred it manually so it is in the root directory all you need to do is select the model os file and then swipe to confirm flash once the file has flashed successfully make sure you get the message that script succeeded this ensures that the file was flashed successfully next up we'll click on the home button now in case your device was not encrypted or decrypted, we need to flash disable force encryption. So we'll go into mount, make sure that vendor is mounted, then we can go back, go into install and select the disable force encryption file, which is this one, disable DM verity and then swipe to confirm flash. Now here we need to make sure that it is patching some f -stop. So as you can see, it did patch the f -stop file which is present in vendor slash etc. Next up, click on the home button. Now all we need to do is go into reboot and select system. However, if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues, then you'll have to go into Twerp recovery. So how do you do that? Well, while you're on the boot loop, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the Twerp recovery boot logo. Then you'll go into wipe, format data, type in yes and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. For now, we're going to skip the step, go into reboot and select system. And bam, there it is. You can see that we do have the Mortal OS boot logo. And of course, they have a custom boot logo. And you have the MIUI 12 boot animation as well, which means our device is booting into Mortal OS custom ROM based on MIUI 12. The first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient. 
and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen let's go into settings my device bam there it is model os custom rom which is based on miui 12 the version which we are using is rc 8 which is based on miui 12 china and eu builds of 20.5.28 so there it is peeps that is how you install Mortal OS custom ROM based on MIUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.